Hi, my name is Xin Xin Wang and I'm an entrepreneur leader of Team 2025 called Plasma from Purdue University. Hello, my name is Alex Shashurin. I am PI for Cold Plasma Team. I'm DHR Sharma from Purdue Research Foundation. It has been a pleasure to be a mentor for this plasma technology with Xin Xing and Alex and I learned a lot from the NSFN instructors. And here is our lab, Applied Plasma Science Laboratory. I initially thought that our cold plasma sterilization technology is effective, time and cost saving, and is perfect for the freeze dry industry. In order to build a full business model of our technology, we decided to take the ICO program in the summer of 2017. For the first couple of weeks, we surprisingly found out that for the sterilization of pharmaceuticals, they are required to take the bacteria out from the raw material while our technology can only kill without getting rid of them. Another interesting fact we got is from interviews we did with the third-party sterilization companies. These companies are either bothered by the high cost of the chemicals or the safety factors during the production of the chemicals. After talking to them, we realized that what we should sell is tanks of active gas from plasma rather than the machine itself. What about the other segments? How about sterilization in the food processing? They have a lower standard in the sterilization that allows dead bodies of bacteria inside and yes, some of them want to do sterilization effectively at room temperature. It seems like the right way to go to until one interview we did with Keith, the senior scientist at JM Smucker. He told me that the most pain they have during the production is to preserve strawberries for a longer time. Wait a second. Why don't we sell cold plasma sterilizer to the grocery stores to extend the shelf life of the produce? After talking to several store managers in the grocery stores, what we learned was that every day the stores take 5-30% to of the produce off the shelf, either donate or dump it because it doesn't look fresh anymore. And most of them are eager to extend the shelf life of the produce. And here is what where we can bring value with our technology. At the end of the program, we think we have found a customer segment so far our technology which is completely different from what we thought initially. What I learned from this six-week journey is the way to think as a non-engineer that can bond the in-lab research with the need of actual outside world. I am so happy and grateful that I spent the past six weeks in the iCorp program.